Welcome back everyone, Chris from Ways and Shells, and today we're going to talk about these beauties. The Phoenix Black Diamond Inshore Casting Rod. When I moved to California, I wanted a saltwater rod that can kind of do it all, and I found it actually. I was surprised I actually found a rod that could do it all. This is the Phoenix Black Diamond 7.5 foot medium action, 15 to 40 pound rod. This is the first Black Diamond I bought. I bought these about four years ago, and this was a great rod. This was a, was a rod I used for um, sturgeon. This is a rod I use in the bay for shark. I use it for uh, stripers and anything I can get my, uh, my line in the water for. This was a great rod at the time. I paired it with the Shimano Dakota, an 80 pound braid. These are fantastic rods built out of high quality materials. This rod is built from Torre carbon fiber. Torre is the world's largest carbon fiber manufacturer. It uses premium parts as well. These are Fuji Alkanite guides and they're super smooth. After thousands of yards of, of braid in either direction, these are super smooth, the glass smooth. It has an Alps aluminum tri-reel seat. It locks down your, your reel, it doesn't go anywhere. It has two lock washers back there. It keeps your reel secure. This 15 to 40 pound one was the first one I got, and it's seen somewhat of an earlier iteration than the other one I got subsequently, but let's talk about this one. This one has been through a lot. I've beaten it up. I've, I've dropped it hundreds of times. And what I see with, with this one that I don't, didn't see with the newer one is that, and we can see it in the video itself, is that the guides, the resin over by the guides started to crack. None of these have come loose. None of these have, have posed an issue, but that it's that something of itself kind of worries me. Now, the newer one, the one I got after I got the 15 to 40 pound, which is this guy. This is a medium light, seven and a half foot as well, but a 10 to 30 pound. This is my go-to rod. This is the rod that I use the majority of the time. It just, it feels better in the hand. It's, it's, it's super light. I mean, ounces, 10 ounces, 12 ounces. I don't think it's a pound. It's, it, it's super light. I paired that as well with the Shimano Dakota in, in 50 pound braid. Um, it's a fantastic rod. I mean, I'll use this rod 90%, 80% of the time. I go out there, I've used three pound lead weights for trolling for salmon before, or in times I don't have the opportunity to use a downrigger. And this medium light handles those three pound weights. No issue at all. It has plenty of backbone. It has a very fast action tip. It's a phenomenal rod. It's an absolute joy to fish with. It is, it is one, of the, one of the best saltwater rods I've, I've gotten my hands on. Um, they run about $300, which, especially for this iteration and, and later, I think they've kind of figured out whatever issue they had with the resin, but this iteration or later is a fantastic rod. Like I, like I said, I've used this rod more than I have with the 15 to 40 and you can see we'll, we'll do some side by sides comparison that the guides themselves are glued a little differently on the newer rod but we don't have any of that cracking in the resin that was uh, obvious on, on the slightly older rod which is surprising because i've used this rod more under more extreme conditions so i think that uh, whatever secret sauce resin they're using they kind of, kind of got that nailed down or maybe the curing process wasn't so great on this just this manufactured rod whereas this one is right on point when it comes to quality control like i said these rods run about 300 dollars. they're fantastic rods i personally think if i had to do it over again i wouldn't do the shimano dakotas these are these aren't a bad reel oh and when we're talking about how thin the rod is this pen is thicker than the rod right past the first eyelid that gives you an idea of how thin this rod is 15 to 30 pound weight and it's that pen is thicker than that rod. Back to the reel. I don't think if I had given, given a choice, I wouldn't do the Shimano Dakotas again. It's not that it's a bad reel. It's not a great reel. I don't love these reels. I think these reels are good. They're a decent reel. And they've been a workhorse for me. I've had no issues with them. But I don't love these reels. I think they're kind of bulky. They're kind of clunky. They don't suit these rods well. There are better reels out there. Of course, a better reel commands a higher price. These rods themselves are about $300, which I think is a steal. I would pair it with a similarly balanced reel, and that's something like Shimano Dakota. I think these are about $180, so these rods deserve better. Um, go ahead and leave in the comments what reel you guys would pair with 
the Phoenix Black Diamonds, like I said, these are my favorite insurer rods and I'll use them. I'll buy new ones in case, knock on wood. Fingers crossed if I ever break one, I would grab another one in a heartbeat. Um, I'll probably be looking to upgrade the reels later on this year, maybe for next next season, get something a little better. I mean, like I said, Shimano Seco is not a bad reel. It's just not my favorite reel and I like Shimano reels. In the comment section below, leave any real recommendations you may have. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Click over here to see more, and I'll see you guys next time.